Northwest Trains, I'm Tom, and uh, we've got another unboxing video today from Hattons. Uh, difference being is this set's not actually for me, this is for my brother. Yeah, he asked me to order, but he's also uh, let me do a video on it first before I hand them over. So, um, if you, you might remember seeing advertised a little while ago that um, Hornby done a layouts made easy packs. I mean, they've done about three, I think. Three or four, so this is actually pack number three. Um, they seem pretty good value, so um, I never thought about getting one myself, but we've all quite fancied it. And this is uh, basically what we got. So, before we take anything out, this cost £297. So, to start with, we've got this very nice little but heavy class 71. British Rail Blue livery and uh, it is heavy so I'm looking forward to getting that out the box secondly we have this very nice LMS Suburban train pack and again this is uh, pretty heavy sorry about the light shining from the ceiling uh, we'll get a better look at it in a sec so that comes with three coaches and then finally it's actually upside down so it's a bit misleading we have uh, British Rail push-pull coaches. So at the back it's giving you an idea what to use. So an M7 class. So these three items together, I've looked them up separately. On um, Well, I looked up patterns. But unfortunately, quite a few of these bits have sold out now. This class 71 is currently on offer for £109. And the uh, the cheapest I could see this train pack for was £170. So someone else might find it cheaper if you do a bit more looking. And this push push pull set, sorry. The cheapest again I could find that for was £77. So all in these three items separately cost £356. So you got a total saving of just under £60 for those three. So Again, it all depends on whether it's something that you actually want. We've got three very different sets here. So we've got obviously LMS Steam era. We've got something from 1970s, I suppose, early 80s. And we've also got this for, a different, again, different part of the country. So, 50s and 60s. So, uh, but looks very nice. I'm looking forward to getting it unboxed. So, uh, We'll get them out the boxes and we'll have a little running session. Right, so starting off for um, unboxing of these, we've got these very nice um, push pull coaches that we have here. Now, I think if uh, my little Heritage Museum layout was a bit longer and could accommodate one of these, I mean, they'd look quite nice, especially the trains going up and down. Ideal for a layout where you haven't got room for a loop siding as well, and they look quite nice. So we'll have to find some to run them on on the uh, heritage line. Uh, well, basically, everything here today will have to run the heritage line because um, the main layout at uh, digital and these are all analog at the moment. So I'll leave it up to me, brother, to whether he wants to DC fit them or not. Okay, now moving on to uh, the train pack. So just carefully open this up. We'll take a little look at the back while we're there. It does look like a stunning loco. I always like the uh, the LMS. It does say limited edition, thousand models, but I think pretty much uh, most Hornby models are limited to a thousand now. They don't seem to stay in production for very long. So and this is in the polystyrene packaging. Yeah, it has got the limited edition certificate. <clears throat> and uh, 
first thing that's fell out the box is your little service manual operating instructions so shows you how to DC fit the loco if you wanted to we have our little certificate here I wonder if anyone ever actually frames these or does anything with them if you do put in the comments because I wouldn't mind knowing because every one I've got just literally stays in the box and uh, here we have the lovely set we just have to take the cellar tape off again yeah, I don't really want to dismantle the box too much because it's not mine so here to the left we've got I presume these are the closer couplers that you sometimes get with Hornby coaches I think that's what they are and uh, we've got our little detail pack here for the loco in fact it's literally just a set of steps by the looks of it and uh, a front coupler so let's just take a look at the loco itself it looks very nice doesn't it it's got internal detail we'll show that in the layout a bit later sprung buffers very nice and these uh, very nice suburban LMS coaches as well they look stunning don't they very nice livery so, uh, we'll have another close up of the loco and we'll see how she runs in a sec just put this to one side and finally we have our class 71 and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, this one I mean I'm not exaggerating when I say how heavy this is it is pretty heavy let me just uh, see if we can get it out the box it is a bit of a shame I can't run it on the main line yet but I don't really want to be messing with DC fitting it so yeah this logo has got some serious weight to it just turn it upside down there's your detail and bits that we get with it and uh, not too sure oh that's your um, I presume your destination codes numbers just open it up here now you also get in the box the usual um, your operating and service manual yeah I can imagine this loco pulling some serious coaches not sure does that just I presume that just unclips somewhere don't want to mess with it too much yet sometimes they just spring up and shoot up on you yeah, there'll be a clip somewhere I haven't quite spotted yet but anyway there's our loco I presume it's got working lights it looks like it it's only a small loco but it is heavy and it will pull a great deal of uh, weight I'd imagine so we'll try and uh, test the uh, haulage capacity in a second. Oh, I'm going to just crush the box. Um, and just quickly before we get them on the way out, uh, my only purchases since the last video is for my Gage Master Prodigy handle controller. I've got these little holders so I can screw them on the sides of the layout where I think I need them because the, uh, the cable does tend to tangle up on it quite a bit. And also for the Hornby steam engines, I got myself one of these for um, go my little toolbox for um, in case any of the rods come loose or need replacing on the side of the wheels on the steam locos. So I thought for what it would cost, might as well get myself one. I've also got the new Hornby 2021 catalog as well, which I've currently loaned to my dad. So uh, we'll take a look at that another time. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this slot on the layout now, and uh, we'll see it all running. We have our Class 71 on the track now, and um, normally I just test them straight out of the box with the crawl, but on this occasion I've uh, ran both locos in. So, um, we're just going to see how she does with a crawl first, just applying just a little bit of power on the Gage Master controller. That's not bad, and that's going over the point. 
I can't really do a um, express point test, but it has uh, stalled a little bit there. Needs just a touch more power. Okay, let's bring it back. That's not bad, is it? And to be fair, I haven't cleaned the track for a while, so. Just apply a touch more power. It is struggling a little bit at the slower speeds. Just takes it up a bit. See, that's that sort of speed she's comfortable at. But I've got to say, the lights look really good on this model. I have had the pantograph up, but with on the upper level, it end up catching on the sides of the, the roof, so I've left it down for now. But this one's quite a quiet model. I quite like it. I think it's really nice, really well made. Like I say, I like the lighting on it, and um, I know it's a very simple, basic looking model, but uh, sometimes simple is uh, is better. So, I'm just going to take this one off from one side, and uh, we'll just have a little have a little look there. I mean, I'll do some close up running sessions of it, so you can see more of it. It's an unusual looking loco, isn't it? And it's like the sort of first generation of electric passenger locos. I just even get a little look inside the cab here. You can't really see much, it's a bit dark. But there is internal detailing in there. I'll see if I can get a picture of that later on. You can't really see it at the moment. Um, it's, you can sort of see the resemblance to the Fairburn. I'll just get my Fairburn loco out. So, Although I do think the Fairbairn looks uh, more modern and sleeker looking than this one. So you can see how it's evolved from this design. I don't know if it has or it hasn't, but it's just a guess of them both being built from the LMS. Because the, the Fairbairn was around when British Rail took over, so but I think it was an LMS design. Anyway, uh, let's see how she gets on. So I'll try crawl now. Not too bad. Yeah, this is probably the worst bit of uh, track on the heritage line, so if it masters this, then it's not doing too bad, is it? It's quite a big gap now in these fish plates here, but I think that's because of the cold metal tends to expand a lot in this loft in the summer, so I've actually cut some of it probably a bit shorter than you would normally to allow for it. It's not the move this but let's try again see again doesn't really like really really slow speeds but that's not too bad let's try it in reverse once more it came a bit fast this time yeah really slow speeds it doesn't like but again you could put that down to my track work I think so we're going to get them both running now. I'm going to use my little Hornby H class to pull the push-pull coaches. Uh, we'll see this running with its LMS coaches and I'll have to see if I can find some suitable coaches for the Class 71. Uh, I haven't really got any in the British Rail Blue livery, so uh, I might have to settle for Intercity livery, but we'll see. And uh, So I hope you enjoy the running session and um, like the video. Uh, I'll even I'll include... A link to Hattons for this set if anyone's interested. I mean there's one other set they've got in stock as well but there's not many left so but yeah just in case you're interested I think overall it's pretty good value for money. Um, I think if you, if you count the Iloco as £100 each then you're basically getting five good quality coaches for £97 if you look at it that way. So yeah uh, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, thanks again for watching.